Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Apex Investor. It is Friday, September the 24th. Big loser today was XOS, 21%. KTRA, same deal. And Canaan as well. That is the one Chinese stock, one of the three that I said are not pump and dump. So that could be a very good buying opportunity in the near future. Zevo was the big winner, 57%. And of note, Naked, one of the trending stocks or meme stocks back in January was up 15%. So let's look at the other movers and shakers. And in particular, we're going to look at Canaan. Uh, Canaan, first tier, I should say the expert tier, you want to get this between one, 180 to $2. Uh, next tier, 2 to 3 maybe even yeah, 2 to $3. And then the next tier, uh, 3 to as low as what is this 570 maybe even six so six dollars is looking like that next tier of support it was trading at 592 to 709 so that was support right there uh, i do believe this has a lot of room to move up uh, we saw it as high as 1097 not too long ago it was right about 980, 987 just last week or i should say last month and was as high as 22 and 24 and as well 34 just in the past year so this could really make a killing for you but uh just to be safe i'm going to say ten dollars eleven dollars might be your resistance in the short term but this is a long hold again this is a crypto stock and all the crypto stocks are down particularly the best three crypto stocks in my opinion are coinbase uh, c-o-i-n coin uh, Canaan, C-A-N, and SOS, uh, two of those from China. And Metamaterials was down as well, but they finished above $5. The volume, I believe, was uh, it was at uh, one-third of the, uh, the average. And uh, so it bides well that we were above five. We did not dip below five. So next week is going to look very positive in my opinion. So let's look at the uh, Metamaterials subreddit to close out this video. It's a short one. Today, a short update. Uh, just want to give you the highlights. And again, in this channel, we look at the biggest, best opportunities in the stock market, trying to make sense of them before they happen and while they're happening. And we also provide you, as you just heard, the best exit and entry uh, strategies for the stock market. I am not a financial advisor or expert, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm simply sharing my opinions and my instincts, which tend to be pretty good. So Metamaterial subreddit, let's get to that and I'll open the best ones. Okay, here's one Metamaterials that uh, was at the top. This is not new, but it is simply a reminder regarding the Seki, Sui, and Metamaterials relationship they have launched their website and announcement of the collaborative relationship and a commercial deal is in preparation. So that is going to be released. When that does uh, eventually release, it is going to be massive. I have a feeling the stock will definitely surge as a result of that announcement. That's only one of many potential announcements they can make. Um, so let's get to the next post. I'm letting it load for you. Uh, on low volume days like today, wouldn't the shorts just, shouldn't they just pummel the stock? Why won't they attack now? They're too great of a company. Share ownership would create a buying frenzy. The practice of shorting is gambling on bad news and hoping a comp the company has, has negative quarters. They decided to short the wrong company. Yeah, I, I believe he's right. Uh, if you do <laughs> short this company and drive the price down, what they find is there's a lot of buyers down there in the $5 level, at the $4, $4 level, $3 level, $280 level. You have BlackRock and Vanguard, two of the largest uh, institutions buying into the stock. You've got the federal governments of the US and Canada who are invested into this company. They're not playing with just retail investors. They are uh, potentially playing with fire here. Literally, they'll be burned not literally, but I mean, they're going to be burned financially as a result. So I think they're waking up to that truth. Uh, there's some news here uh, from the 24th from Reuters. 
Uh, this is today from this morning. New semiconductor plants will end global auto chip shortage next year. Uh, this is from Tesla's Elon Musk. Okay. I'm not sure how that relates to bad materials. But the next post is saying, wouldn't it be dope if we were all wrong regarding Meta's uh, deal with Samsung? And instead, we're dealing with Apple. So this is taking a while to load. Oh, here it is. So it says here, Apple is reportedly working on iPhone flip and a second foldable uh, phone. So we'll see. Uh, time will tell. If that is essential, if that is the case, it's Apple, not Samsung, or if it's both, that's only going to drive the stock up more. And we're all going to be richer. So <laughs> you know, that's great. Uh, interesting. Okay, so there's some hype here. I think that's regarding what uh, Elon Musk had said. Um, yeah, very interesting indeed. So I'm going to click on there and see how does this relate to metamaterials. So let's just give that a pause. It says Tesla CEO Elon Musk said on Friday, thanks to new semiconductor plants that are planned or under construction, the global chip shortage that has pummeled the car industry this year should, should be short-term in nature. So that's speculation. Um, he added, uh, how long did he think the global chip shortage would affect ve vehicle production? He said short-term, I think. There's a lot of chip fabrication plants that are being built, he said. I think we will have good capacity for providing chips by next year. Uh, the two automotive industry leaders agreed on potential uh, support coming from nuclear power to cover for the increasing global energy needs. I'm surprised by a recent move away of some countries from nuclear energy, which is safe, but in their dialogue, they avoided referring to competition issues between top electric mobility leaders, such as Tesla, and legacy automakers, such as Ford and and Toyota and so on, now investing heavily to expand their offer of electrified vehicles. Musk, however, thanked Alcan for a, a support Tesla received between 2017 and 2019 from Komau, the robot unit of Fiat Chrysler, now part of Stellantis during what he called one of the most painful periods for his company, linked to the, to the launch of production on Model 3. John helped me a lot in that period, uh, saying that Tesla had come close to bankruptcy half a dozen times. So if you're a Tesla shareholder, those were very challenging times and very fearful times. Stellantis chief executive Carlos Tavares has said the group formed through the merger between Fiat Chrysler and France's PSA expected to achieve its European carbon dioxide emission targets this year without credits bought from Tesla. So I, again, I don't see how that relates to metamaterials. Maybe he's alluding to the metamaterials plants uh, possibly making chips, but I personally have seen no proof uh, to prove this, that they can make chips, but uh, we'll see how this relates in the future. But I think we see two potential deals here with uh, Seki Sui and metamaterials, as well as Apple and Samsung and metamaterials. But uh, those are simply reminders and speculation as to uh, potential PR and announcements and deals that may take place. So that's all for today and this week. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Have a great weekend, everybody. And uh, God bless you all. And God bless your investments.